you all. So today we are going to start our next chapter that is chapter 7 is reproduction in plants and animals. So uh, we, have, uh, we have completed our uh, put in the lesson that is nervous system. So today we are going to start the 17th chapter reproduction in plants and animals. So first uh, what is reproduction? How the animals are reproducing? The, what are the methods we have uh, 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 what the plants or animals they are uh, the adapting to how have the reproduction we are going to study about in this chapter. So what is reproduction? That is all the living organisms are, have a definite period of lifetime, isn't it? So after some time it will have it will die after some time. So in order to uh, continuation that is continuity of the species and without any uh, breaking of that organism the repro that reproduction should happen, isn't it? So the species should exist on the earth by the process of or existing on the earth by the process of reproduction. It is the process by which new individuals are formed from the already existing animals. That is, reproduction is the process is a, uh, that is uh, important process that is happening in all the living organisms including plants, small microorganisms, animals, etc. And this takes place by uh, that is takes place for the continuation of a species. It is a lifetime process. Uh, reproduction is a lifetime, lifetime process. So, in animals, that is uh, from uh, small organism to higher animals, we, uh, even human beings, the reproductive time, reproduction time will be varied. So, each microorganism will reproduce in a faster manner. And from uh, cow, that is animals like cow, lion, etc., uh, elephant will be having a reproductive stage more than uh, one year or ten months like that. Okay, even human beings. Human beings the reproductive stage is ten months. That is that is uh, the time of reproduction. The, uh, that is you can say that the time for each and every organism may be differing from one to another. One to another. Okay. So reproduction you can uh, that is. Uh, of uh, sexual type for sexual or sexual reproduction what is that it involves the uh, formation of gametes sexual, re sexual reproduction takes place by the involvement of gametes that is one from male and the other other is from female mother and pa that is parent the parent we are getting the gametes which is which are carrying the uh, that is character characters from one uh, parent is taken up in the gametes the, uh, by the form of the form of genes and it is transferred to the next generation. That process is known as sexual reproduction. Okay, sexual reproduction takes place by the formation of gametes. That is, male, male and fusion of male and female gametes takes place during the sexual reproduction. So, uh, here the parents, that is, we are getting the characters both from father and mother, and they are formed the gametes we join to the to form the uh, cycle. Okay, so this two characters, that is, for parental characters. Paternal and paternal character we are receiving from our parents, that is sexual reproduction. Then, then in this chapter, so we are going to study about the reproduction, different reproduction process which is taking place in and, uh, plants and animals. So, uh, reproduction it is classified into three types. First one, vegetative reproduction. Second one, asexual reproduction. And last one is sexual reproduction. So, these are all the types of reproduction that is uh, taking place in animals and as well as human beings and also in small microorganisms. So, what is reproduction? Reproduction is the unfolding of life form. Reproduction, if you are saying, is the unfolding of life forms.
reproduction is necessary so it is class so it is class, uh, already told that sexual reproduction it is involved uh, taking place by the involvement of gametes that is fusion of male and female gametes takes place in sexual reproduction so the you know, offspring or the individual which is formed after the reproduction will be having the characters that is characters of both the parents that is maternal character mother's character and the father's uh, character will be obtained by the child or offspring which is produced after reproduction that is sexual reproduction so the reproduction it is classified into three types so, that is sexual sexual reproduction okay, we can come about first one vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction second one uh, asexual reproduction and last one is sexual reproduction so these are the three types of reproduction which can be seen in small from microorganisms to higher organisms first we are going to see about the vegetative reproduction first one is vegetarian reproduction that is here there is no involvement of gametes it is a, uh, from the mother plant it's a small uh, new organisms are formed that is from the vegetative part of the plant so we are going to study about reproduction in plants okay so uh, plants means the vegetative part uh, that is the formation of new individual that is from the vegetative part of any of the vegetative part of a plant is said to be vegetative reproduction what are the vegetative parts maybe root stem leaves and buds these are the four vegetative part of the plants and from this new plants will be arising that process is the here there is no formation of that is uh, gametes that takes place in this process so all the individuals which are produced by this vegetative reproduction will not be will be having the same character of the parent okay it will, it will not be uh, that is one parent is involved in this vegetative reproduction and the uh, the character which is obtained from uh, that is uh, shown by the individual will be the same character as that of the parent so it is uh, there will not be any difference in this organism the organism which are produced by this vegetative mother do not show any variation or difference is uh, not shown by this organism which are produced by vegetative mother so let us see the vegetative reproduction so there are three types of reproduction vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction is also not taking place by the process of Uh, gametic fusion here also it is produced uh, that is uh, organisms are produced by spore formation the next one last one is sexual reproduction that is taking place by the formation of um, male and female gametes so these are the three types of reproduction so first we are going to see about the vegetative reproduction
So first one leaves. Okay, first one we can study about leaves. It is given leaves in your book. For leaves, that is example in bryophyllum. 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 Uh, leaves are able to produce small uh, small uh, plants on the leaf notches. Bryophyllum is a type of plant. is able to produce small plants from the notches of the leaf that type of reproduction is uh, that is vegetative reproduction in leaf so it is uh, from each notch so the plant small buds or plant buds will be arising from the notches of the leaf notches means small bending small uh, insertion of the leaf and this uh, uh, that is these buds will be able to give rise to a new individual plant example bryophylla that is in through which they get reflection by leaves example bryophylla it is without uh, contact with the uh, soil itself these plants are able to produce the small plants okay when it, when the leaves the mother leaf decay it will be growing into individual plants the next one reproduction by stem vegetative reproduction by stem that is example uh, strawberry example strawberry here the stem that is because that is lying towards the, the stem which is uh, flexible it is uh, able to uh, bend towards the soil and it will uh, bend towards the soil and it produce when it touches the ground it will produce a new roots and new advantageous root will be formed from the stem and the new plants buds will be formed at the region after some time the it will cut off from the parent plant and it will grow into a separate individual plant that is uh, reproduction it is reproduction by stem once again the strawberry that is strawberry plant is having some flexible stem the stem which is lying near to the ground near to the ground it will bend downwards it will bend downwards and it touches the when it touches the soil it will produces roots it will produces adventitious roots from the stem and also produces the buds small buds or small plants will be produced at the region of adventitious root at the place where the root is attached to the soil it will produces the root it will produces the root and it will cut uh, it will produces a new plant it will produce a new plant it will produce new plant and when it becomes uh, when when this uh, flexible stem it will get that uh, cut off from it will get cut off from the new plant and it will be this plant that uh, which is formed over the near the ground that is advent that is arising from the adventitious bud will grow if uh, just uh, separately as a individual plant this is about the reproduction by stem the next one root the uh, adventitious root which is produced from the adventitious root that is potato or sweet potato etc it produces the new plants from the root part of the plant so okay, example uh, sweet potato you can say it is sweet potato buds which are produced from the roots will be able to grow uh, will be able to produce new plants so that is advantageous uh, vegetative reproduction by root example sweet potato example sweet potato okay so this is about the vegetative reproduction by root the next one is adventitious uh, that is vegetative reproduction by adventitious buds that is buds which are, that is flower buds will be uh, uh, turning into small bulbs that is small uh, spherical structures and that is known as bulbs and this bulbs when it fall off from the, fall off into the soil and it will be able to grow into a new plant that is flower buds flowers will be flower buds flower buds will be converted into small bulb like structures known as bulbs and this bulbs when it fall off from the parent plant 
and grows into a new plant. Example again. So once again, listen. Uh, bulb buds, buds. Then we flower buds. Flower buds will develop into small bulb-like structures. Bulb-like bulb structures are known as The flower buds will be developed into bulb-like structures known as bulb bells and it will get detached from the mother plant and it can it, is a, it has the capacity to grow into a new plant. So these are the different types of vegetative reproduction in plants. So once again listen, vegetative reproduction means the reproduction takes place from the vegetative part of the plant. Example, roots, stem, leaves and buds. So first one leaves, example, bryophyllum. The leaf of bryophyllum it consists of node structures. From the nose uh, area, notice the new buds will be arising and if the buds, these buds are able to grow into a new individual plant after the decaying of the mother leaf. The next one stem, strawberry, example strawberry. The flexible stem of this strawberry plant, it will get bent towards the soil and new plants are able to arise from the, the uh, it will produce a adventitious root and from that area new plants will be arising when, and it will, uh, when it becomes mature it will cut out from the parental plant and it will grow separately that is known as vegetative uh, reproduction by stem the next from the root the sweet potato etc it will be able to produce buds in the root, is, root of the plant and this buds will be able to uh, that is adventitious buds adventitious roots will be formed from the roots of the same plants and it will be able to grow into a new individual plant Next one, buds. Example, again, the type of uh, aloe vera has, uh, aloe vera is a, uh, belong, the, again, it is belonging to the family of aloe vera. Okay, aloe vera, somewhat similar to aloe vera plant. So, this, uh, again, it produces, that is, bulbs. The flower bud consists of, uh, it will be turned off into small bulb-like structures known as bulbs. And this bulbs will be able to, when it fall off from the parent plant, it will be able to produce new plant that is uh, buds okay it's really reproduction by buds the next process is fragmentation next process uh, vegetative process when you are seeing the small that is microorganism etc that is uh, first one fragmentation fragmentation is the process by which the plant body or the is happening in algae this uh, fragmentation takes place in algae that is filamentous algae long thread like algae is um, Algae are known as filamentous algae, and this filamentous algae will be cut into small pieces, and these pieces will be able to grow into an individual plant. That is fragmentation. Next process. So vegetative reproduction among that, uh, along with that, uh, when you are seeing the microorganisms, these are all taking place in plants. When you are seeing that is algae, bryophytes, etc., there is uh, vegetative reproduction takes place by the following process. First one is Fragmentation. So these are all vegetative reproduction in higher plants. Okay, higher plants. Next one, vegetative reproduction in lower plants. That is small algae, bryophytes, fungi, uh, bacteria, then uh, planaria, etc. This type of reproduction takes place. That is fragmentation. This uh, takes place by the father is the body got the uh, lamentous algae that is called spirogera. Spirogera, it is a multicellular filamentous algae. Multicellular filamentous algae and this it will, cut, it will break into small fragments. This filament will break into small fragments and each fragment will be able to grow into a new plant. So, this filamentous algae will break into two parts and this it will be having each cell one cell will be present in each fragment and this will be able to grow into another 
algae. So this is fragmentation. The next one is fissure. Next one, binary fissure. Binary fission, example bacteria, example is bacteria. Here the single cell is a single bacterial cell will be divided into two cells. It will be divided into two cells and each cell will be able to grow separately into a new individual. So that is binary fission. Binary fission means dividing the body into two. By means two, a single cell will be divided into two cells and each cell will be able to grow as a new individual. Example, uh, so bacteria will be uh, coming under then amoeba. Amoeba is also an example for organism which, is show, which shows binary fission. So amoeba you know it is an irregular structure.
diction of nucleus takes place, the cytoplasmic diction takes place, and also the cell wall, and uh, finally the cell wall also will be divided and forms two new individual, two new new individuals from the, will be formed from a single organism. That is known as binary diction. Next one, budding. Budding takes place in yeast. It is uh, the budding. Uh, the buds will appear as a small projection from the parental body. It will get matured in the when attached to the body of the mother uh, mother organism. When it become mature, it will be get separated from the parental body and it will, it will be able to grow into a new organism. That is known as budding. The next one, regeneration. What is regeneration? The example, planaria or hydra. That is. Any of the body part, if it is cut into any uh, pieces, this cut part will be able to grow into a new organism. That process is known as regeneration. Example, planaria. Planaria is there is animals, only it is found in animals. So that is regeneration. So if the body part, if it is cut into several pieces, if the body part is cut into several pieces, each body part will be able to grow into a separate organism. That process is known as Regeneration. So we have completed the vegetative reproduction. So first we have studied about the vegetative reproduction in higher plants. That is, uh, that is, uh, that is plants which they, that is reproduction that takes place from the vegetative part of the plants. Vegetative reproduction that is taking place from the vegetative part of the plants. That is known as vegetative reproduction. It is it may be appearing from the vegetative parts, maybe roots, stem, leaves, buds, etc. So we have studied about the different parts of the plants which is able to give rise to a new plant. First one we have studied about leaves. From the leaves, new plants will be arising uh, by, the, uh, by the formation of small buds in the notches of bryophyllum leaves. We have studied the leaf example bryophyllum. Second one, reproduction in stem. Vegetative reproduction by means of stem. Here the reproduction that is stem, the lower part of the stem that is flexible, it will go under the soil and it produces adventitious roots and that area uh, it will produce a small buds and it will be getting separated by the, uh, getting separated from the mother plant and it will be able to grow as a new individual plant. Next one we have studied about vegetative reproduction in roots, that is roots which is produced with the uh, vegetative part that is Example sweet potato, it will be able to produce new plant. Next one, reproduction by buds. Vegetative reproduction by buds. We have studied algae as the example. Here the flower buds. Flower buds will produce, will develop into small bulb-like structures. Small bulb-like structures known as bulbils. And these bulbils will be able to form a new individual. So that is that's all about the higher plants. Vegetative reproduction in higher plants. In lower plants, coming to the vegetative reproduction in Lower plants, first there are four processes, four methods are there. First one fragmentation, second one binary fission, third one budding and last one is regeneration. These are the small, that is uh, types of vegetative regression that is taking place, place in lower group of plants. First one fragmentation, example algae spirogera, example algae spirogera, this spirogera, fundamental algae, this will divide into pieces and each fragment, that is pieces are said to be fragments and each fragments will be able to grow into a new individual plant. The next one, binary fission, example bacteria, amoeba, etc. Here the cell divides into two, the single mother cell will be able to divide into two and each cell will be developed, uh, will be growing as an individual plant. The next one, individual organism, next one budding, budding example is here the uh, buds will be formed on the mother plant, small buds in small projection will be formed on the body part of the mother and this are said to be buds, these are said to be buds and these buds will be able to grow into a new, it will get separated after the maturation, it will get separated from the mother body and it will be growing as a new organism. The next one, regeneration, example plant area, here the uh, the body parts will be, several body parts will be cut, uh, will be able to grow into a new individual plant that is known as regeneration. The next one coming to the asexual reproduction. So, vegetative reproduction we have completed. Next one, asexual reproduction. Uh, already told that there also there is no gametic 
form, gamete formation takes place. No, it does not involve the formation of gametes. It is arising from a single parent, the vegetative reproduction, the, uh, sorry, the asexual reproduction takes place by means of a single parent. So here the, all the individuals which are produced by this asexual reproduction will be similar. There is no difference between the individuals form, which are formed by this method. So all the, all the organisms which are formed by this method is similar in character. So vegetative reproduction, uh, sorry, asexual reproduction does not involve the formation of gametes and this, uh, uh, this will, uh, the, this, by this method the organisms which are formed are similar in the character, no difference, no variation can be seen among the individuals. All the individuals are said to be clones, okay, one, uh, one will, uh, what is a clone? A clone may be defined as the, for, that is carbon copy of the parent. A clone may be a carbon copy of the parent, that is, there is no difference, there will not be difference, any changes between the parent and, that, and also the uh, daughter cells, okay, daughter cells which are formed from the parent. So, it is taking place by the, form, by the process of spore formation. The, uh, sexual reproduction takes place by the formation of spores. Spore formation, the, uh, the sexual reproduction takes place. Example, fungi. Mostly in fungi, it is taking place. That is fungi, it appears in the form of a small uh, mycelial cells, that is hyphae, now thread-like structures. Uh, uh, how does the uh, fungi is occurring in uh, the uh, land is, it is in the form of small thread-like structures known as hyphae, okay. So when you are examining bread, uh, Taking a bread after when it is kept in a bread, a piece of bread uh, uh, when it is kept in a moist condition, after one or two days it will appear somewhat blackish in color. Okay, that is because of the formation of fungus. When we are observing that through microscope, you can see the thread-like structures over the bread. Okay, that is the structure of fungus. Okay, that is lean filamentous structures which is appearing in a cluster form. That is known as hyphae. This hyphae will produce during the time of a sexual reproduction, it will form a small structure, that is a outgrowth will be arising from the hyphae, that is my female cells and it is known as sporangium. This is known as sporangium. The outgrowth which is produced from the the outgrowth which is produced from the hyphal cells of fungi uh, is known as sporangium. This sporangium will be divided. The sporangium, the nucleus, except the nucleus, cytoplasm, everything will be divided mitotically to form more group of cells known as spores. Okay, a single nucleus will be divided. Uh, several times and forms many nuclei and it will be covered and each nucleus will be covered by a uh, cytoplasm by the cytoplasm and it forms the spores. So the nucleus and the cytoplasm which is present inside the sporangium, it will get divided continuously and form several nucleus and the cytoplasm, each nucleus will be covered by the cytoplasm. After this, uh, spores remain for, remain uh, still, uh, still for some uh, several days and when the condition is favorable, when the conditions are favorable, that is the seasonal condition, climatic condition, everything is favorable, the sporangium will burst and releases the spores outside. Okay, the sporangium will burst. The sporangium will burst 
and releases the spores outside. This spores, when it falls on the suitable substratum on the ground, it will grow, it will be able to grow into a new organism. That is known as spore formation. This process is known as spore formation. So, say sexual reproduction takes place out, which also takes place in lower groups of organism. Here the organism is produced by means of spores. Example, fungus. Spore formation takes place by in fungi. Fungi, okay. So, the fungi already told, I told that, it will be in the form of a thread-like structures, a cluster of threads and it is known as hyphae. Hyphae mycelium, each thread is said to be mycelium. Mycelia, okay, it is a cluster of fungi. You are seeing the fungus through the microscope, it will be forming. It will be forming thread -like, numerous filamentous thread like structures and it is known as hyphae. This hyphae gives rise to an elongated structure that is said, for example, structure that is known as sporangium. The sporangium, it will divide, it is a nucleus which is present in the sporangium, it will divide into, it will divide into several nucleus. Okay, by biotic division, it forms several nucleus and this, uh, it will be the cytoplasm also divided in several times and each nucleus will be covered by the cytoplasm. And this are said to be the spores. This are said to be the spores. And when the favorable condition, these are all spores. Okay. The spores, during favorable condition, what happens? Uh, the sporangia, the sporangia wall breaks and it will release the spores into the atmosphere. When it falls on a suitable substratum, when the spores falls on the suitable substratum or soil or land, it will grow into a new organism. This is known as spore formation in fungi. Okay, so this is about the asexual reproduction. That is, here the organism which are formed from the uh, by the process of asexual reproduction, all the organism will be similar. There will not, will not be any difference between the parent and the offspring which are formed. Okay, that process is that is asexual reproduction. Next, coming to the next one, so we have completed vegetative reproduction. Second one, we have completed sexual, sexual reproduction. Next, we are going to study about the sexual reproduction. What is sexual reproduction? How does the sexual reproduction take place in plants? Sexual reproduction in plants. We are going to study about that. Okay. So, <coughs> we have studied uh, plants. When you are seeing a plant, you can see the vegetative part. That is, already I have told fruit, stem, leaves, uh, buds. These are all said to be the vegetative part of the plant. So, what is the reproductive part of the plant? Well, um, you know that the most attractive part of the plant is the flower. And these flowers are involved in the sexual reproduction. Okay. So, flowers flower is considered to be the sexual reproductive part of the flower. Okay, flower of the plant. Okay, sorry. Flower is the reproductive part of the plant. So, flower is the reproductive part of a Plant. It, uh, it is uh, involved in the reproduction. The flowers uh, will be uh, attracted by the attracted by the insects. Okay, so not only the insects, human beings are also even attracted by the flowers, isn't it? So being attracted by the by the process of uh, that is reproduction that is taking place by the help of flowers, and these flowers will be later converted into flowers. Fruits, seeds, etc. Okay, so how does this process take place? Next, we are going to see about first about before that we have to see what are the different parts of a flower. Okay, the flower, uh, you know, the consists of four parts. The flower consists of mainly four parts. That is calyx, corolla. From outside, when you are seeing calyx, corolla, and shell and game shell. These are the four parts of a flower. Calyx. 
Corolla and Asian and Kanisha. These are the four parts of the flower. Calyx and Corolla is not uh, not involved in the reproduction of it is not directly involved in the reproduction of the plant, but it will help in the reproduction. This it is helping the plants for reproduction. So these are all said to be the these two are said to be the uh, what accessory organs. Okay, this is said to be accessory organs. That is, it is helping in reproduction, not not involved in reproduction. It is just helping the plants for reproduction. The next one, Andrisium and Gaelicium, these are the two main important parts of the plant. That is male part and female part of the flower is known as Andrisium and Gaelicium. So Andrisium is known as the male part. Andrisium is the male part of the flower and Gaelicium is the female part of the flower. <coughs> so Andrisium is the male part of the flower and Gaelicium is the female part of the flower and these two are the very essential organs, essential organs of the flower and this is taking place in the sexual reproduction of the plant. Essential organs. So, the flower, when you are coming to the structure of the flower, externally when you are seeing, the outer part is known as the calyx. And corolla, the green color part of the flower that is covering the flower during the bud stage, that is known as the calyx. The corolla is the most attractive part of the plant, that is petals we used to say it as petals, okay. Petals, individual, this for calyx is individually is known as sepals. Corolla is known as petals. So when you are taking a flower, So when you are taking a flower, the outermost part, that is the green color part, is said to be the calyx. And this colorful part is known as petals. We used to say this petals, and these are known as corolla. And this is the andesia. Okay, this is andesia, female part of the flower, and this is the Gaelicium, sorry, Gaelicium is the male part of the flower and Gaelicium is the female part of the flower. So when you are seeing the structure of the flower, the outer part, the outer part is known as calyx. The, the colorful part of the flower, that is petals, is said to be corolla and the female, uh, female part is known as Gaelicium. The female part is known as the Gaelicium and the male part is known as the Andesium. Okay, these are the four main parts of it. Flower. So, individually, so uh, we are going to study about the andesium. And that is, uh, first one we are going to study about the main part of the flower, that is andesium. So, what is andesium? Already I told that it is the main part of the flower. It consists of a small uh, anther and a stalk known as filament. The main part is known as the anther and the stalk of the uh, anther, uh, that is stalk of the stamen is said to be filaments. Okay, so the andresium usually is known as stamens. Andresium, when you are taking it, usually it is said to be stamens. 
this statements it consists of two main words it consists of two main words that is and the and a filament
forms the main gametes which is involved in the fusion. Okay, fusion of fusion during the time of fertilization. So this is about the structure of pollen grains. Once again, this and the parts of a flower we have studied about. This is about the parts of a flower we have studied. There are four parts in a flower: that is calyx, corolla, andesium, and gametium. The outermost layer, the outer, the green color portion, is covering the flower during the bud condition. It's protecting the flower during the bud condition, and that is known as calyx. The next layer, next uh, word is known as corolla. It is an attractive part of the flower. It is also known as petals. The colorful part of the flower. That is corolla. The next one consists of two main parts, essential parts. That is male reproductive part and the female reproductive part. The male reproductive part is known as the androecium. It is also known as stamens. So, androecium or stamens. The the female reproductive part is the uh, gynecium. Okay, gynecium. Or pistil, or it is also known as pistil. The other name of andesium is stamen, and the other name of gynecium is known as pistil. Andesium is the male part. Remember that andesium is the male part of the flower, and gynecium is the female part of the flower. So first we have seen about the andesium. So andesium it consists of it is usually it is known as stamen. Stamen it is consists of two main parts. There is anther and a filament. Anther is the main part of the uh, stamens, which produces the pollen grains. It produces the pollen grains, and the filament is the stalk of the anther. Stalk of the anther is known as filament. The anther is the region where the pollen grains are formed. The pollen grains, some the structure of pollen grains, it consists of two parts. It consists of two parts. That is, outer wall is known as exine, and the inner wall is known as indent. Okay, the outer wall is somewhat rough in nature. It is not smooth. It is rough in nature. It is uh, mostly yellow in color. The outer wall is yellow in color to in order to attract the insects. The inner wall is very smooth and very thin, and it consists of that uh, during the time of germination of pollen grains, uh, the the inner wall will grow into a pollen tube through a small opening. Through the small opening, that is known as germ pore, which is present in the Uh, outer egg cell. That is germination. It is uh, germination of it's a use of egg cell. Okay. Then next one, the consists of two types of cells. The pollen grain consists of two types of cells. That is generate smaller generative cell and larger vegetative cell. Okay. So this uh, we have completed the main reproductive part. Just I have given the introduction about the parts of main reproductive part of the flower. That is andesium. So today. Uh, A portion has been today's portion. We have said we learned about the vegetative, that is vegetative reproduction, sexual reproduction, and we have started about the sexual reproduction, and we have studied about the male reproductive part. Next class, we will continue about the female reproductive part and how the reproduction takes place. Thank you all.